this time on Fishing and Adventure. <laughs> Absolute beast. This week, we're continuing on our South Island adventure on the legendary Derville Island. With tight schedules and post-lockdown restrictions, we grabbed the last-minute flight from Hamilton to Nelson, while Frosty towed the boat down and met us at the airport. We then ventured to the top of the Marlborough Sounds to French Pass, where we chucked Holy Ship in the drink and made the final leg of our journey to our accommodation on Derville Island. It was then straight into the adventure and off to try and have a crack at the challenge, which is for us too. Shoot a game animal, gather two types of shellfish, land a 15 pound snapper, and land a 20 kilo kingfish. Kingfish were first on the hit list, and so we got straight into the jigging at Stevens Island, and we managed to hook a few nice kings, but all were still a fair way off our 20 kilo challenge size. Snapper were next, and we hooked a few very nice fish, including a solid 13 pound model, which was taken on a jig. We then took in the last of some stunning evening scenes, before heading back to base, where we had a surprise but welcome visit from some big squid, and so we wasted no time on hooking a few to add to our seafood medley we were planning on having on our final night on the island. With all four challenge species still outstanding and only two days left on the island, we were definitely going to have our work cut out for us if we were to be heading home without having to face the consequence. Day two dawned on Derville and brought with it some stunning weather and so we were straight back out to Stevens Islands to hopefully nail our 20 kilo challenge fish before brekkie. Meg, it's very calm. It's very calm. There's lots of sign. And uh, we've got our jigs. Let's, get Let's go. With, get jiggy with a dog. <laughs> no time to explain. We're into it. A little bit of reverse there, Ben Lards. Look at all these kahawa behind us here welling up. I have a feeling we might catch one or two of them. <laughs> what a morning, though. Look at this day. Although all the signs were there for an immediate kingfish onslaught, the switch was definitely off, but we persevered with the jigs in the hope that something would flick that switch on and we could finally open our challenge account. Sometimes it's a case of just sticking to the technique, no matter how taxing it might be, because you never know when that big hungry greenback will show up and pin you to the rail. Yep, yep, yep got him. Yep, got him. Oh, got him, Miggy. Go, Ben, drive, drive, drive. Good fish, Ming? Yep. You right? Good fish? Yeah, good fish. Hey, beast, beast? Yep. Holy crap. Get him up, Marine. How about, how deep? Okay, keep cruising us, keep cruising us. <laughs> we got him, keep going, Bench. Just keep going. Keep going. You drive this fish out into deeper water. Just stop him, Mickey, stop. Open these if you need them. Talk to me, man. What do we got? Yeah, beast? To come around here, absolute beast. Absolute beast. Oh, yes. Come on, Mick. This could be it. This could be it. We're only an hour into jigging. Woo. Yeah, keep going. Keep going. Keep going, Ben. This is still stripping. I haven't got any back yet. This is a beast, man. This is a beast. <laughs> come on, ring. Get him. <laughs> this is a big fish. And I'm going to call it right now. This is probably going to be our challenge fish. If we can just keep him up. This place is well known for big kingies at this time of year. And Mick's hooked an absolute beast. Come on, Ming. He's all good. He's not in the bottom because I can feel him moving. Yeah, yeah, no, you do. This is good. Just keep driving him out, Ben. It's also important not to go too aggressive now. Make sure you can't try and keep that bend in the rod. This is a big fish, man. What we got there, Mick? Tawny Con? Tawny Con, mate. Nice. Tournament concept. All the way. How's the Cavella? Oh, fantastic, mate. Silky smooth. Yeah, nice. All good, Ben? Yeah. Yeah, so Ben just keeping on driving us out. Hopefully the fish is subdued enough. He's probably going to go on another couple of runs our way, I'd say. Yeah, definitely. By those first just, few runs. At the moment, he's actually just conserving energy. Yeah, 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 just cruising. If he's a big one, you want to probably... Oh! oh that's him. That's him. It's a king, eh? Big old king, eh? It's a king. He surfaced up. He did too. Man, he's still oh, very how, green. How big is he? He didn't look monstrous. He looked big, though. Here he comes. Oh, it's a good fish. It's a fatty. Oh, it's a barrel. Oh, you ready, Scott? Yeah, I'm ready, mate. Excuse me, Dubs. 
Oh, he is a barrel. It's a fat fish, Migsy. It's a barrel, bro. It's a big fish. He's a beast. I don't know if I'm going to be able to put my hand around this tail. Oh, he's, he's a, a big, big old boy, ready? Coming yeah. in hot. Yeah! Yeah! Oh, look at that stuff on the Yeah! What a beast! Oh, that's a beast! Red! Holy crap! Ready, man? Coming to you, mate. Oh. <laughs> that's a monster! Yeah! Wow! Oh. oh, yeah! That's Good why we script. came here. This spot is awesome. <laughs> is it what? Duval Island, top of the South Island. Yeah! Job, brother. Ah. Hold it up, mate. Get those oh, big, my arms big white sore. boy arms up there. There you go. Ah. <laughs> yes. Check that. What a monster. Big old king. Back in the drink. Get him back in the drink, Mick. Yeah. Is he going to swim off? He's a little bit weirdo. Eh? No, there he goes. He's all good. Yeah, they Powered actually away. are, eh? Powered away. Yeah, oh, hey. Gonna have a lie down now? Oh, go again, eh? So. No, go again. Hey, cabin's well, might as well try for another one, why not? Yeah, let's Be do silly it. not to, eh? Yeah, boy. Ew! Woohoo! <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, boys. Boys, boys, oh, boys. Fresh, man. Nice, Migsy. Oh, Migsy. Yeah, the brother Jay Mosses. Oh. Well, one of the cool things about staying right here, we've got a mussel farm just there. And so Ben Lards has shot out to grab a feed of mussies. Yep, but not from the mussel ropes, from underneath the mussel farm, because as those mussels drop when they're harvesting, the mussel ropes ends up with a whole lot of mussels underneath it. Yeah, that's it. So, yeah, hopefully he's filled up the catch bag, get some nice uh, fat mussels to add to our seafood medley. Oh, Get on, Slash. Yeah. Easy as I hate to Oh, oh nice. man. Oh, Kai's looking good, Ming. Yeah, good size, eh? Yeah. Beautiful, mate. Mm, good effort. Easy as. With shellfish number one ticked off, it was back out on the boat to try and track down some more tasty kaimoana while we waited for the wind to drop. One of the best things about the nutrient-rich colder water is the abundance of shellfish, and so we found a nice sheltered bay where we all suited up to try and maximise our chances of tracking down some challenge power. Once in the drink, we wasted no time in sniffing out some tasty mollusks, and it was clear to see there were a few of them around. Power are relatively easy to harvest, but make sure you take notice of fishery rules and regulations around collecting them before filling up your catch bag. An easy, fail-safe trick is to grab yourself a power measure tool so that you can check your catch as you go. While diving the area, we also noticed an abundance of curious blue cod. After following a couple of bigger models, we couldn't resist grabbing the spear guns to pick up a few to add to the seafood medley, along with a couple of tasty butterfish. Oh, good, good. Wind's right up, so we're trying to get out of it a little bit, but yeah, managed to uh, load up on one water already. Nice butterfish there on the spear. And a nice blue cod. Another bluey. And another buttery. Oh, fantastic eating right there. Oh, another blue. Oh, buttery, sorry. Um, and a few power. They're all legal size, but there weren't as many in that last bay, but. Uh, uh, ben found a whole lot more in this bay here, so we just push around the corner. That right there, tastiest seafood food in the world. That's my opinion. Fresh like this, beat it a little bit, fry it up, and a little bit of flour and butter. Yum. All right, just been through our dive. Obviously, there's some beautiful power and uh, other fish in there, but on, look boy. at that row. Right. You on there, Scotty? What do you got, mate? Uh, I'm not too sure. I was on the flip of 
The shell's a bull, though. I've got a weight there. Oh, boy. Check that row out. Oh, yeah. yeah. We have got our tail cutting mm. What have you got? Oh, boy. Oh, beast. Beast. Beast of the blue. Net. Oh, net. Oh, That's a net. beast. The hell? Get him, get him, get him. <laughs> That's a monster! That's a monster! Yes! Oh! In the kenner spot! Look at that! Oh man! That is a, that is a monster! Ooh, oh yes! Boy. Man! Some big off, oh, some big off fillets on that, eh? Absolutely! Man, that kenner's young! South oh, Island! Man. Look at That's right up there, man! Mm -hmm. It's a big fish! That's a big fish! He is straight in the bin. Favourite eating fish for a lot of people. You like him? Yep, favourite eating fish for number one behind the old oh, camera. number here. one always. Hey. AJ Rock, yes. get that thumb up, he knows. Yes, he knows what he's having for dinner. <laughs> Blue cod, power, kinners. kinners. How were the kinners? Sorry, I oh, interrupted you guys. Creamy and beautiful. Yeah? Man. Honestly, yeah. really, really nice. That row was almost right to the inside of the kinner. That's how fat they are. Too good. So with the challenge shellfish ticked off, it was now up to try and find our 15 pound snapper. The snapper in this area hold over the deeper drop offs and are primarily feeding over the sand, which caters perfectly to targeting them with metal lures. So a bit of lunch on Holy Strip. Fresh kahawai wraps. So uh, David's doing a bit of fishing. Put David on the rod for a bit. First drop, he hooked himself a fish. What we got, Dave? What do you reckon, mate? What we got? It's not that big, is it? It is not a snapper. We're talking, you got your classic. Oh, Guns! Yeah! Guns! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What? Oh. Woo! Oh. oh, that's a bit of a beast, too. It's not that's a bad one. Good size, yeah. yeah. Probably out of the 80 metres, I think. Stick off 50. Yep. Nice, mate. There you go, eh? Maybe get a few big old Guernseys down here. Yeah, look at them. I mean, we just had kahawai for lunch, which was absolutely beautiful, I must say. Yeah, Michael, how mm. good is that? Oh, mate. Mate? Outstanding. Yeah. Um, but this gurnet might have been better, but we'll save him for dinner. We're going to be part of the medley. But, uh, yeah, still trying to find that other challenge snapper. But if he's not here, we'll happily take this fella. What a stunner. It is a bit of a beast. That, to me, looks like snapper at the bottom. 80 metres. We've got quite a bit of current, because that's the area known for its current. But we're going to drop down. Well, I've already dropped down. Some slow jigs. Try and target some of these, uh, or target our challenge snapper on metal, metal lures. A couple of different options here, but uh, yeah. It's going to be the way we're going to do this. What do you got over there, Mig, the old flipper? That's the rig there. It's just a black magic flipper jig. And that's just a nice slow wind. will do the damage with that once you get to the bottom. But 20 pound fluorocarbon. And then we'll just tie it onto some braid and a bait caster. So nice and simple, good for working in this deeper water. Snip that off. And uh, yeah, give it a little bit of a cast forward because it got a bit of current and drifting reasonably quick. And then that will drop down, get it to the bottom, and yeah, nice slow wind. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on here, boys. That's how you cast, yeah, yeah, guys. Yeah, on. Ooh. Yeah, it could be a beast. <laughs> Yeah, oh yeah, that's a beast. Beast? That's, that's an actual beast. Yeah, boys. Holy crap, this is a beast. Oh. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Stripping! Yeah, absolutely stripping. Go, Scotty! This is the beast. Miggy, I... Oh, man. You're right, mate? You want to think... stay up? No, 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 I think this could be the one. I'm just going to put it out there. A little bit of sign, bit of a brew. Ah, uh, definitely a brew. Uh, look at that, look what happened to Mig's brew. What happened to my brew? That's got a flipper jig in it, mate. Oh, come on, come on now. <laughs> you said you wanted a flipper jig. Didn't realise you didn't want it on your brew. <laughs> That's fair. 100% snapper too, look at that. Bang, bang, bang. 15 pound plus, I'm making the call. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, stop it. Good That's weight and just good power. I mean, I'm not, you never know with snapper because every now and again you get a snapper that fights way harder than it should. Yep. And a lot of the time you'll get a snapper that fight pathetic and then actually yeah, quite reasonable. Yeah, a bit bigger. Yeah. But, uh, Caught enough snapper over the years to know. Not South Island ones though, so. Yeah. The cool thing is we can just let these fish run because the uh, terrain down there 
relatively sandy, pretty friendly bottom. And on the flipper jig, eh, Mick? On the flipper jig, mate. They, are, good. they are proven in the North Island, so it's mm -hmm. nice to see we can use them down here and they work. Yep. It's a big old snap. Oh, it's a big fish, man. It's a beast. Sure. All right. <laughs> All right. Okay. Boys! Yes! Boys! <laughs> It's a stone! <laughs> hey! That's us! That's the one, mate! That's gotta be it! Has to be! Oh! Yeah. Yes. Devil! D. Irvil! Get the net out of there, Mick, for me? Oh, yeah, mate. Gotcha. <laughs> there we go, boys. That's a big old snap. Challenge Snapper, Durville Island. Thank you very much. That's a beast, Migsy. Yeah, that's a goodie, eh? That's a real good fish. Absolute stonk. And just on that light combo. Yeah. Lures. There it is. Oh, epic. The old flipper there, the big one. The bigger, yeah. they quite often the bigger fish will take the bigger lure, so you've got to persevere sometimes and avoid the pickers and nail the big boy. Here he is. The fact is, he's been brought up from 70 metres, 80 metres, so his chance of survival are pretty much nil. We don't need to take too many fish either. You can't actually take too many where we're fishing here today, so, so three a day. So we've, um, uh, we've got a couple of nice ones before this one, now this guy, so that's basically us, so we can just stop snapper fishing now, really. Still a fantastic eating fish. Even though it's a big fish, they still taste good. Plenty of meat on them as well. Just weighed that fish, 18 and a half pounds. So, not quite 20, but definitely over the 15 pound challenge size. Smashes it. Absolutely smashed, and he just fits in that bin. Nice. And there you go, straight on that salt ice. In there with a couple other snaps and some goons. And that's us, challenge snapper. Picked off. Done. You. Boom. On to the next one. What's next, bruh? Wherever the Surtees points us. Yeah. Uh, that way. Straight into the <laughs> island. Wherever the Diving. <laughs> With only half a day left to try and nail our game animal, Mig, Ben and David head into the hills to try and bowl over a pig or a deer, while Jared and I packed up the gear at the house. Although there was plenty of sign around, the boys unfortunately weren't able to pull off a last minute challenge win, which means good news for the Consequence fans. Although not a full challenge success, this trip was anything but a failure, and we were absolutely stoked and privileged to be able to achieve what we did with our few days on the island. And of course, our seafood medley was 100% a success, with some of the tastiest bits of Kaimoana available. Durville Island was one spot that had been on our bucket list for quite some time, and it well and truly lived up to the hype. So with a fully loaded holy ship, we departed Durville and made a quick stop to check out the scenes at French Pass. French Pass has the fastest tidal flows in New Zealand, and the current can reach a rapid eight knots. A very, very impressive piece of water. It's called a consequence for a reason, mate. That's it. Remember your bag? Got my bag. All right. Let's go. Yeah, good talk. <laughs> Do we need any lemons? We have one snapper here. Yeah. Yeah, two please, that'd be great. Yep. Oh, we'll just get into the kai. Oh, really? Yeah, yep. Yeah. <laughs> yep, thank you. Yeah. Oh, nice. Okay. Oh yeah, thank you very much. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, not a bad haul, mate. Good haul, mate. Okay. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. It'll really help us grow this channel and bring you guys way more content. And if you want to score some of our epic FANZ merch, then click the link in the description below, grab yourself a tea and a hat, and uh, we'll catch you on the next adventure.